Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we're going to go to Germany semi-vanilla with a buddy and we're going to get into a lot of PvP, some raiding, a lot of base defense and non-stop action. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, make sure to drop a like. If we reach 500 likes, I'll upload part 2 tomorrow where in that one we continue with much more intense survival and a lot more PvP. Also make sure to subscribe, each one helps the channel grow more than you think and we're getting close to 40,000 subscribers. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord, the link will be below and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a frosty black hockey mask. If you want to win this mythical make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Gem members also have a higher chance of winning. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is currently available on both PC and mobile all for free. This game doesn't really need an introduction so it is one of the most large games out there and probably a lot of you guys have already heard of it. In Raid you have more than 700 unique champions that you can use, all of them having their own different style of strategies which will help you to complete endless challenges that the game can offer, such as bosses, dungeons, doom towers and much more. You can either play casually and enjoy the high quality graphics or you can go and dive deep and compete with other players on PvP Arena. Personally, I have played this game before and I really, really enjoyed it. One of my favorite features is the auto mode, meaning that if you need to go AFK just for a little bit, don't worry because the game will literally play for you using auto mode. The raid is also full of surprises. The updates are happening every month and new champion servers or events are waiting for you to explore. The latest update, which will start in October, be prepared to get a scare from raid. There'll be treats and tricks this Halloween. Those who are brave enough to enter the raid yard. All you have to do is just download Raid Shadow Legends using the links below and then venture over to yardyard.plarium.com from October 15th to November 10th. You have to enter your player ID and then venture into the haunted graveyard. Make sure to grab a shovel, pick a grave and start digging, as you'll be in the chance to dig up some amazing in-game items and even real life prizes, ranging from epic and legendary Halloween themed raid champion to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. If you're an existing raid player, you can still get involved in this Halloween spectacular at Raid Yard .com as well and you'll find a special promo code that everyone can use to earn a small gift in game. With all of this exciting stuff and more coming trade, if you haven't started playing there then what are you waiting for? New players, use my link or scan the QR code shown right now and get a free starter pack with this cool in game loot. Just hit my link in the description below, pass the tutorial and I'll see you on the battlefield. Each accomplished tutorial helps me boost the content quality for you to enjoy it more and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, I am currently on Germany. It is quite early in the morning, there are a few people on and we're just going to spend probably the whole day here. Try to cause some chaos, try to build a base, maybe do some raids. Now we're very close to Osti campground, so I'm actually just gonna go there. Hopefully we'll get ourselves some military loot. And today I do want to build close to military. So after that we do have a bit of a long journey ahead. We would need to cross half the map. But there is a mountain next to the military base and that's probably where I'm going to build it. It's a pretty good location. Hopefully there are no large bases over there. Alright, so I looted this area a bit and noticed that there are actually a couple of mods. Oh, there's a peacemaker over there. Now there's only one gun mod by the looks of it. Which just has yeah a bunch of random other guns. Now the server is a bit high times load. I think it's three times. Uh, let's take all of these, we can make ourselves some bandages. I'm not seeing some bases around as well, but most of them are raided. Yeah, as soon as we finish looting here, we'll start our journey to military base. And the first things we're gonna do when we're there is we're actually gonna build a base. Then afterwards, we'll just start looting military, hope for mega zombies, hope for some PvP as well. I uh, actually almost died. Yeah, there's some raw. We'll take the knives as well, we can make some metal. Yeah, let's med up. There's a zombie stuck somewhere. Now, currently we're gonna be solo, but I may try to get some of my clan members to join. Yeah, these zombies are not dropping any good guns, though. They're just dropping clothes and metal, mostly. So I think there may be bullet drop on the server, I am not sure yet. Alright, so I'm over at the area where I want to build the base. For now, I'm not gonna build anything that crazy. I to chop down a bunch of trees. Now, in terms of loot, I did get myself a saber tooth and a 7x or an 8x or whatever that is. And we'll do ourselves three walls. We need to get more wool logs, though. Yeah, my teammate did join. Now, I did craft myself a bed as well. So we could just put that right over there. We'll claim that as well. Now, I think on the server, we can have multiple beds too, which is pretty, pretty cool. Now, that base down there where the DRR is actually unrated, so we already have ourselves a raid target. And military base is literally right over the hill, so. So we're very, very close to action. If we hear any shots, we'll immediately go there, counter any PvP that's happening over there. Or if people are killing mega zombies. That's gonna be basically the plan for today. 
Now, if we do get raiding gear, then we'll just start running around the map. Oh, it's a bed over there. But yeah, today I at least do want to raid at least one base. Alright, so base is technically done. Got myself some storage, a bed. Don't have anything that insane, obviously. But we're gonna start going to military runs. To get ourselves as much high-tier PvP guns, such as Augs, Night Traders, whatever. I could put these in here as well but yeah we're currently gonna be a duo as well my right, teammate has tp'd he doesn't have anything he has a compound bow all right so we basically spend the whole day looting military there is a mega zombie ourselves an aug as well so we'll just take him down hopefully we'll get ourselves some good loot Still a lot more zombies man all right he's dead and looks like all right well looks like a bunch of attachments let's we'll just clear out all the zombies first yeah the server has all types of zombies there's flamers spitters everything man it's kind of incredible how there's nobody here either. Hey, he dropped a bunch of attachments, a drum range fire there. That's good. We can do some sentries. All right, put the grenades in vault. I also did get myself two of those modded guns. I don't know if they're even good, to be honest. Now, you're probably just going to continue spending uh, some more time looting here, the other part of military. Yeah, we're going to take... Also, we're getting as much XP as possible because on the server, you don't spawn with max skills. Now, today, I also do want to have myself a pretty decently sized base. I don't want to just live in a 1x2 or whatever. So my teammate loads, actually I may just go try to continue building. And if he needs help, I'll just TP. So after that, I basically spent the whole night upgrading the base. Can't even get in. I'm gonna have to salvage the wall, but over here we did ourselves a staircase. And from here I'm gonna be doing a doorway. We could put it right over there. Now this way, people cannot actually door camp us unless they get on the second roof. It's actually kind of smart, to be honest. I'll put the door there and perfect. It's like a bunker base, kind of. Not really, but looks kind of cool. Oh, well, there's a, an APC right next to our base. Oh yeah, they're inside it. I'm sure a grenade. I think that... Yeah, that one... Re oh, he has maple strike. Alright, these guys are geared. I'm almost dead. I smed up. They're just gonna run away. I should have more grenades. Yeah, let's just take them from vault at this point. If I manage to kill... Oh, yeah, that was a bad throw again. They have two cars. The problem is they were right next to our base, so they probably know that's our base. Yeah, they're gone. They just bailed, man. They have maple strikes and everything. They really just ran away from us. I don't know if we should follow them. Maybe they'll take us to their base, but we probably won't even keep up with them. All right, since that team knows who we are, that team knows where we live, and they were using maple strikes, so they're probably super geared. We are going to move base. It's only smart to do this because we're going to be back with raiding gear, and our base is too small to defend right now. They could just shoot a rocket and we die while being in the base. Now, we're going to build it close anyway. I did salvage most of the of the crates and then we still just gotta build probably a one by one for now and later on we'll focus on upgrading but we gotta do this fast there's literally no more loot inside the base right now we moved everything we don't really have anything that's special anyway but still the little we have we don't want to lose it anyway all right so one by one base is done we didn't build anything too big but we're gonna put everything we have in here the only extra gun we have is a machine gun we really really need to loot up actually oh yeah we built it very very close it's at the very top of the mountain now we built it at the complete peak now we should probably wait by the the bigger base wait for them to come pretend that that's still our base and let them try to raid us if they do manage to raid us then we literally don't lose anything but if we do manage to kill them then we probably would get raiding gear but well, first i'm gonna head to berlin i'm gonna try to get myself a blowtorch it's currently what we really really need in order to make lockers and so on i'm gonna get up to the top to see if there's any people around berlin Oh, never mind, there's a, a sentry. Okay. I don't even have meds. Great. Yeah, I'm just gonna check for the blowtorch then. It seems like Berlin, somebody's trying to take it completely over. And so my teammate did the military run. I didn't get anything that good. But I'm gonna home and I'm gonna depot. I'm gonna check on the older base to see if it's still standing. We didn't hear any explosions though. Well, let's see. It seems like it's still okay. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, they, they blew up the base. There's literally nothing inside, so they literally just lost. They used a rocket or a charge. Oh, they even raided the one down here as well. Wait, maybe they're still inside. Let's check. No, it seems like there's nobody though. There's still some loot inside these wardrobes. They just didn't take them. There's a saber too, so we'll take that. Nothing. And these are empty. There's a shredder in that one or whatever it's that's called. Oh, rook. I'm pretty sure that gun doesn't raid anyway. I got myself some ammo, I guess. There's a guy inside there. He seems kind of geared. I mean, he has a... Full clothes. Yeah, he's right over here. He's dead. Let's clear out the zombie. Oh, didn't have any. Oh, yeah, the blowtorch, though. Okay, that's actually perfect. That's what we came here for, to be honest. All right, now we can make lockers finally. All right, so we're back in base. We're gonna continue upgrading it a bit from a one by one to a two by one. We made the metal floor. At some point, I do want to start making a full metal base. And yeah, we can make ourselves another metal wall. We'll put that over there. 
We still have some more metal over here, so I can probably make another wall or a doorway or something. Let's make them all into sheets. Make ourselves another wall. I don't know which side I should put it, though. I'm gonna put a doorway, put that over there. And I just need to make the door and the roof. Probably the roof, I'll make it wood, though. Currently, we're not really finding that much people because it's still early in the morning. So we're just getting ready for when it's later in the day. And more people start joining up. I mean, we already got raided, to be honest. I put everything in there. Wait, I hear somebody in a, in a plane or something, or a heli. Oh, yeah, there's somebody driving a plane. Oh, that dude, okay, that was easy. My guy just got one shot. It was low. Oh, yeah, he's a solo, too. Uh, he probably is kind of geared than if he's landing a plane and flying one or something. Or he probably just found one, actually. Oh, yeah, I see a lot of loot already. Bro, there's a detonator. What? Okay, all these... Oh, my God, he's actually stacked. Dude, there's two detonators. Oh, that's thing he's the hard beacon. Oh, my God, he's geared. I think he just did a full military run. He has a gauss mask as well. Even though the dead zone over here is kind of trash, but still, I mean, we could go for it. At some point. Right, let's take all the good loot and I'll just home and depot them. He has a lot of metal as well. He has some HMG ammo, umbrella, spec ops, helmet as well. I'm gonna take all of this metal. There's a billion drums here still. I'm gonna let my teammate loot the rest. I'm gonna go depot all of this loot. And there's a mega zombie over here as well. There's a lot of zombies running around too. Let's just take him out. Go for some high tier loot. Yeah, he's dead. Out all the zombies too. Oh, Dragon Fang. Okay, there we go. Dude, I'm almost dead. It's my up. Dragon Fang is huge, man. Even these two Dettos were insane. I don't know how that guy just was running around with two Dettos. Other than that, there's a bunch of attachments, some high cal, some more nades. I really hope we find a decent sized raid as well. There's another AUG. Alright, yeah, we just got ourselves a really good run. Yeah, my teammate got some sort of secondary sniper. I don't know if it trades or any of that. Yeah, it could be a raiding weapon, actually. We'll check later. We'll check when we're about to raid the base. Yeah, I'm gonna home and depot. Alright, so I'm back in base. Got myself a lot of metal. Gonna make some lockers. Now, over here, we also did some progression. We put ourselves a claim flag, sentry. That, that's basically it. Now, at some point, we need to go get even more fuel, though. You know, put all of these guns there as well. All of the attachments. I'll TPA back and we'll continue with the Lutron. Alright, so we just got ourselves a Steely as well. So we're gonna take this plane we found earlier. And I'm gonna probably just go hide it somewhere. We can build it next to our base. Because it literally targets our base or something. Yeah, maybe later on we'll also find ourselves some sky bases too. I'm pretty sure there's going to be. But for now, we'll go hide it somewhere. Alright, so we landed our plane at the very top north of the map. At the corner. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna look around over here for some base raids. Since we're here, I mean, might as well. there's a base raid over there actually. We may have found something to raid. We can raid technically. We have detonators and I'm pretty sure we can craft C4. I don't know if we have any glue. I may have collected a few when I was at Berlin, but I am actually not sure. If not, I'll just go and farm very, very soon anyway. It's still close. Alright, so the base is unraided, the roof is metal, most of it is actually metal, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try to raid this base very soon, I'm pretty sure all these triangulars are just honeycomb, it's not even finished honeycomb anyway, but we're definitely gonna give this raid a try, we can use dragon fang if we want to, but we're gonna use c4 for this, and then for dragon fangs we'll use it for lockers and so on, and so I'm over at this town, I'm trying to get glue, that, that's actually all we need, just some glue, shouldn't be that hard to get glue from a town, and then we're gonna do our first base raid of the server, Hopefully a good raid. I got ourselves some glue over there. Great. Yeah, I'm currently solo. My teammate left for a bit. And then when he's back, we're gonna do the raid. In the meantime, I'm gonna home. And I am going to craft myself as much C4 as I possibly could. Now we are back in base. Let's take all of the materials we need for C4. I'm pretty sure I may also need wire. So we may have to salvage some stuff. Oh yeah, never mind. We already have a couple. There we go. Sticky charge. Alright, so we have three charges in total. That should be enough for a metal wall. Yeah, my teammate is also back. 3C4. Let's hope it's enough. Unless there's base health, but I don't think so. Alright, let's just go at the bottom. I don't want to die accidentally. Alright, that did a lot of damage, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, we're through. Alright, a bunch of crates. Alright, these are a bunch of ammo. There's a wooden hatch over there, lovely. Oh, what? Okay, a... five crates. We could take that, to be honest. We do need storage in our base. This one's empty, nothing... Alright, so now it's not really looking that good, actually. Yeah, these don't really have anything, man. Still nothing. Some ammo. This one's empty. Another one empty. Triangular floors. Now, this raid is actually not good at all, man. It's a very bad raid. Let's check out what's down here, though. Alright, still more storage. Ammo. Smoke grenades. Nothing. Okay, well, we got three raw, at least. Some HMG. A bunch of mags. These are empty. There's a chevron. Three grenades. I'll take those. 
At least we got the grenades back for the C4 that we used. Some metal. Do we check these already? There's still a third floor. Two wardrobes, nothing. And two raw. This one has nothing. Okay, well, kind of disappointed with this trade. I mean, I saw it full metal, but there's literally nothing inside. We did get some attachments, some grenades, some raw, some ammo. Right, that's basically it. Other than that, nothing that good, man. Our first base trade wasn't that good, unfortunately. I mean, we could take whatever we found we don't need and turn it into metal, maybe. So we could use that for a base, but... Yeah, I'm disappointed with this raid. Alright, so I brought my gas mask and I'm going to do a solo dead zone run. Honestly, all I really want is stuff in order to make C4. Or at least PvP guns. Now, apparently there is a duo that are trying to find us. One of the guys I know him, he, he doesn't really like me. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to find my base. Probably dork at me the whole time. There's a flame boss here, so let's get rid of him. So I may have to do some base defense at some point. So right now I'm just gonna focus on this dead zone run. Alright, so dead zone run is finished i didn't get anything good though i did get some raw some grenades but nothing that insane it's definitely worth not worth it the only two guns i got was a peacemaker and a saber tooth Th that's basically it those flame boss zombies don't drop anything good man i'm gonna home i'm gonna depot i'm back in base and uh, i hear people walking on metal there's people outside man it's probably that door that wants to find me yeah i'm getting targeted man even when i'm not streaming i'm getting targeted Honestly, I I'm gonna destroy them anyway. We have sentry, so they can't really do anything. Yeah, my teammate is here. And we're just gonna run straight out. Yeah, they're right there. Alright, both dead. Oh, okay, well, that was easy. One of them died to a sentry. And yeah, they brought us a bunch of guns. Thank you. Bunch of stuff we can turn into metal, actually. <laughs> yeah, one of them died to a sentry. That's hilarious. Alright, we're gonna take all of this. We're gonna salvage it. And we're gonna make it into base parts. We're slowly but surely upgrading base as well. Not really focusing on it at all, though. But we should focus on it now, to be honest. Alright, so made ourselves a doorway. All I need is a door and we have ourselves a full 1x1 one one full metal. Salvage there, the Terminator, so we don't need that. And there we go. Another 1x1 one one has been built. Lovely. So a lot more to salvage. Now, judging by their loot, they don't have a base. They were running around with literally the most random junk ever. I'm pretty sure I can make some more base parts. Let's make ourselves another metal floor. We gotta salvage the door or else it won't let us. We'll put that there. At some point, they also probably will make a second floor, so... As we're doing another military run, got myself another detonator. Bro, we have so much detonators now. We can make, like, two hard beacons. That's actually really good. We're farming for metal as well, so that we can continue upgrading our base. I can make even more sentries if I really want so. There's another grenade over there, we'll take that. We're not gonna stop since they found my base now. So we're gonna have to defend it until eventually they leave, or they manage to raid us. Which I don't really see happening. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, wait, what? They're here. Oh, they're actually raiding. And I found a grizzly or something. Oh, there we go. Blowtorch. We're just gonna easily fix this. Alright, there we go. Just trying to raid with a saber tooth or snake persky. I don't even know what that was. Alright, well, I'm just gonna drop everything. Now, we did extend this part as well. We made a brick doorway. Brick currently is the strongest material in Unturned. We're gonna move the sentry, so I'm gonna make it right out here. So if they do manage to kill us... They still have to destroy the sentry. Actually, I'm gonna reload this first. So that it has full ammo, we'll put that there. Now we'll get over here. And I'm probably gonna make myself the other sentry, actually. Uh, my teammate literally just dropped everything here. Dropped all of his loot that he just got from that run. Uh, yeah, there we go, there's the rangefinder. All I need is metal in order to make ourselves a sentry. We need a blowtorch too, actually. And these guys are still outside. They're just door camping. They're probably on the roof, actually. Where the hell is the blowtorch? Oh, there it is. We found we found it, finally. Yeah, they're running at the top. We need to make ourselves a bunch of wire. Right, yeah. We need a spotlight and a rifle rack. In order to make a spotlight, we just need uh, some wire. My spotlight has been crafted. Now we need a rifle rack. These guys are literally... They don't stand a chance on their sentries. All right, rifle rack. Another hostile sentry. All right, we'll put this right over there as well. Now let's find ourselves a decent gun to put in. We could put the PDW, actually. I mean, I don't... See myself running out with it. Yeah, they're outside medding. Oh, never mind. My teammate put another nitrate there. Alright, so now we get naked. Let's drop the grenade especially so they can't destroy our sentries. Alright, drop everything there. We'll close that and we push. He's dead. What? Other dude was just... Okay. Oh, well, that was easy again. My guy had a bow. What? What? This guy had a scaler though, I'm pretty sure, or a bulldog, I don't know what that gun even was. Alright, so now let's just move the sentry. We could put it on the roof, actually. I mean, even if it doesn't kill him, at least we would know that they are here. We'll put this at that angle. There we go. Easy. I actually want to know what loot he had. He had a bulldog. 
There's a sniper and the grizzly, so yeah, they used all five shots then. Oh, what? Bro, I didn't even see him. My guy came with a cobra. What? Okay. Actually, didn't see him. His green skin was kind of camouflaged. I couldn't spot him. All right, we're gonna try to start to upgrade the second floor as well. Get myself a bunch of wood. We'll put pillars. Could put the brick doorway there. Bro, they're outside again, man. They're not gonna leave us alone. Oh, he killed them. Nice. Let's drop these. We don't want to give them extra stuff. And my, my teammate's killing them all. Oh, wait. Yeah, my teammate got some. Ingo Fire Viper. We're upgrading base slowly. Probably should salvage this roof, to be honest. Because they're trying to get on top of it. I heard steps. Oh, yeah, he's, he's right down here. What's up, bro? My guy didn't have anything. Where the hell did this guy come from? Oh yeah, by the way, now they're a trio. They got some random that was on the server and turned him against us. Because they can't really do anything. Oh yeah, he's dead anyway. Now, apparently this guy is a villain. He played a lot here. Apparently he has a sky base or something. So that could be kind of dangerous. Oh, he's right here. What's up, bro? What? How the hell did he not see me? He had an AUG though. Yeah, I'll take that. My guy brought plates. Now I'm kind of running around with no loot. Just a gun. Some other random dude. Uh, yeah, he's not with them, he's just a random guy. Check out his load. He may actually be geared. Yeah, Heartbreaker, Aug. He has a lot of guns. It's a small grenade. We got some water, bro. Insane load. Oh, there's a FAMAS too. I'll take that. What? There's a guy there. This guy's just here with his hands up, bro. Go away. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, it's the sky base, dude. I mean, he died anyway. Jumped off with just a determinator. All right, let's home and check out what the load was. Let's take our load as well. My guy said it's worth it that he got a kill. Yeah, I'm just getting targeted at this point. I don't know how I'm gonna beat this. This guy can just jump off his sky base with rocket launchers and just demolish my base. Yeah, this is his loot. He had a nitrator too. The Terminator. Insane loot, dude. Yeah, this is my loot pile over here. Heartbreaker. I'll go depot this nitrator and the Determinator for sure. There's a guy there. He's dead. He didn't hit me once. Insane loot. I saw some more shots going on. Oh yeah, he had a... Nice, he had a fully decked out AUG. How the hell did he not hit me once? There's a guy literally right under my base. He's trying to be sneaky, dude. What's up, man? He's dead. These guys are not giving up. And his other dude is here. Dead as well. It's my dog. Another bulldog. What? There's a guy there. Yeah, he's dead. Wait, there's somebody else. Torch. Wait, my teammate got a meta. That's actually good. Yeah, this guy's dead as well. Anything good, bro? Nope. Didn't even have a gun. He had a saber suit. Why did this guy have five guns, but he didn't give his teammate anything? Oh, Meta, huge. All right. There's an AUG scope, so... All right, so those guys actually left the survey. We have won the base defense. Even though they didn't really damage anything. The guy in the sky base just stopped jumping after he died to the sentry. And as for the duo, they, they just... They don't even try to come back anymore. Well, alright everybody, after that I did leave, I did home, take all of the good loot and log off, and so did my teammate. But that is not the end of this server. After that, the next day we do join and our base is still unraided, and on that day, we get into a lot more PvP against much more players. The server, for some reason, gained two times the normal amount of population, so we're gonna get a lot of action. We're gonna be doing sky base raids, we're gonna be doing horde beacons, and much much more. So if you guys do want to see that coming out tomorrow, let me know in the comment section below. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!